Oh god! Oh my god! What is happening, bro? Another, another beautiful day here. What's up guys, welcome back to Calvin's Garage. Today we have a pretty pretty awesome day planned. Well, at least I think so. The plan for today is to get the 300, yes, R300 back up on the channel, back up and running, and hopefully we can start enjoying this thing a little bit more than, <laughs> than we have. However, first off guys, I just wanna just, just toss this out quickly just, just because Father's Day is right around the corner. For those of you that do not follow me on Instagram, go ahead and first off follow me. I definitely don't wanna miss out on the content. But for those that are following me, know that Movement and I have collaborated to join forces a little bit, and and uh, we're here to help you guys save a little bit of money. So I've actually been rocking their watch for oh, a month now and this thing is, it's super classy man. It's real nice and clean, it's elegant. You can wear it any damn setting. I wear it when I'm freaking working on my car. You guys have probably been seeing it on my wrist like 95% of the time. So uh, if you guys wanna go ahead and grab yourself your own watch uh, for your lady, for your dad, for yourself, go ahead and save yourself 15 bucks right off the bat. Use the code Kelvin15, it's on the screen. Uh, go ahead and check them out, movement.com. Link will be in the description. And you guys can go ahead and save yourself some money and look fresh. Check them out. So as far as like, okay, we have a little bit of update. We've, we did some stuff on the VG yesterday. I don't think I filmed much of it. Uh, we went ahead and kind of buck, uh, buttoned up the front cover stuff. We put on our cam angle sensor. We hooked up our water pipes, as you guys can see, upper and lower. Now we're kind of stuck because we're waiting on the, there's like little O-rings, little seals that go in where the fuel injectors are for the fuel rail. So we have to wait for those until I can go ahead and put the, uh, the intake manifold on. But as we're waiting for this, like I said guys, we're gonna go ahead and mess with this guy today. However, first off, I'm not gonna film. I gotta clean this thing, so I gotta go ahead. We gotta go, I gotta drop off a fender roller in the city and um, Jordan is probably gonna be coming here soon as well, I think. However, if you guys are if you guys are wondering, no crap on the car this morning. It's great. By the way, guys, I got some pretty gnarly updates on this whole kooky build, man. I can't wait to show you guys. So we're hopefully gonna go back there pretty soon. Um, it's looking so damn good. Now, first off, if you guys missed any of like the build content, uh, go ahead and check out the playlist, man. There's so many episodes. We built the whole, I mean, we did, we did so much work on the thing. It's such a transformation, so go ahead and check it out. I can see this from a mile away. No, no, the concrete on the other side is much worse. The, what? It's like concrete. Right. How are you gonna put me in the mouth? Like water. Carbon though, guys, G2 Carbon, check them out, bro. Oh, look at this lady. Oh, that's a good looking lady right there. We'll be back soon for you. We'll be back soon for you. For those of you that say this color doesn't pop, literally have no idea what you're talking about man. This thing pops so much. It's crazy. It's gotta be in the sun though. It's gotta be in the sun. At night it looks almost black but at, like certain light you got purple, blue. It's just real good. Real good. Here helping them. It makes content at the same time and an actual project. Just like that we're home. Time to get to work. <laughs> All right so Yes, we are back. Sorry about the wind, by the way. It is super windy today. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of looking at this thing sitting in the driveway. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing back up and running. Uh, fingers crossed, it's it's all good and no more leaks. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jack her up. And it's such a pain to jack this thing up. Now I literally have to jack it up from the rear first, then go to the front. Low life. <laughs> let's get to work. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good shot right there. By the way. Check them out, man. Check them out. MVMT.com. Calvin 15. Save 15 bucks, man. Man, 
man. I haven't been here in a while. It smells great. It's crazy, the amount of people that have been asking me to LS swap this, crazy. So first thing what we gotta do is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I gotta tighten up this crank pulley bolt. So uh, to do that, it's an automatic car, so unfortunately, well, uh, unfortunately it's automatic. Um, hopefully to change very soon. We have to go ahead and kind of wedge something under here in the flywheel where the starter used to be to kind of stop the crank from wanting to rotate while we tighten this bolt back up, so. All right, so the bolt is a 27 mil. Now if you guys have a manual, a five speed, you might be able to get away with just putting it in like fifth gear and um, that should technically hold it. But for me with the automatic, I gotta do this whole starter deal. So let's see if I, I wedge a screwdriver in there. Oh, no, yeah, she's, oh. All right, I shoved a rag in the gears because I couldn't get a screwdriver to stay. So this is working. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It ate my rag. It ate the rag. Yes. All right. I think. Uh, I think. I think we're done. I found a, like an empty, like vacuum port right here. So cap that off because probably would leak. That probably was a vacuum leak. So everything is all assembled back together. Um, you know, now I'm thinking about it. I don't even know if you guys saw the content <laughs> of me taking this thing apart. To be quite honest with you. So. Uh, I don't know if I put it in before this video and let you guys know what's up, but uh, yes, so essentially we have everything all back together. Um, we jumped a tooth on our timing because I am an idiot and tried loosening the crank pulley bolt in a sketchy way. So I think we're all good to go. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hook the battery up and then hopefully, hopefully she starts and uh, runs great. <laughs> Right, um, well, shall we? Okay. Okay. Whew. Please work. Please don't blow up. I don't know why it would, but. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double check everything here. I don't know why I'm nervous. I think because I like had to retime it. <sighs> Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Doesn't sound great. It does not sound great. That doesn't sound good. Something is not right here. Damn it, man. He is not happy. I mean, this is this. She does. She does not sound happy. And I don't know why. Oh no. All right, well, I'm not entirely too sure what to do at the moment. I really don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> this is just, of course, you know, like, <laughs> couldn't have just started and ran perfectly. Like, what went wrong? Nothing has changed. I put, the, I put a new water pump in, took off the timing belt, made sure everything was in, in, on marks, everything was marked up perfectly, reinstalled the timing belt, and now it just does not sound ideal. I'm gonna try again. Let's try it again. This is not ideal. This is not what we wanted. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. This is not sound. This is not sound normal. I think I, I think I might have some good news. So I've been going ahead and popping off all the coil packs to see if any are like not firing. Check this out. Listen, nothing, no difference. Whereas we go over here, check this out. See, guys, I think we have a dead seal at like a coil pack. I'm gonna swap some coil packs around and I kind of see if, uh, if it's the coil pack that's our issue. So this could be okay. All right, so I replaced it with a spare one I had from the other build. Let's give it a shot. Man, if this works. Doesn't sound great still. 
Nah, there's still something's going on here. This is this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Look what I just found. So I'm just diving in here. I, I swapped all the coal packs around. I was like, all right, nothing's changing. It's still dead. Um, now I'm thinking maybe it's not the coal pack. Maybe it's a fuel issue. Check what I just found. Like you can't even see it. Okay. I'm just in here digging. I'm in here rummaging. Okay. I'm in here rummaging. Look at this. What does that look like to you, gentlemen? And ladies, of course. We got ourselves a broken wire. Um, so, <laughs> what? How did that happen? No idea. But I think that should be our issue. However, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. I'm gonna be done for today. We're actually going out for dinner right now. Um, and I have to go check on our buddy Colby. So, uh, you guys remember the, 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 the doge from the, the other vlog. I freaking love this car, man. <sighs> You guys said you guys want to see a lot more like in-car driving, rip, pull, clips, whatever. If you do, let me know, let yourself be heard in the comments, and we'll uh, we'll make it happen. Woo! This thing runs mint, as always. Ha-ha! RB20, baby! Buddy! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping, buddy? Hey. So uh, let me know how you guys feel about the vlog style video. The, the last video that we just put out didn't do too well, so it's okay. You know, maybe you'll just take a couple. Can you? Can you keep it down? Um, you know, maybe I'll take a couple couple videos to kind of catch back or for people to catch back on with the whole deal Because I guess I was away for like a, a week, but um, hopefully we can catch back or you know, get back up at the pace with this whole like vlog and video style um, If we can if they do well, we can even bump it up to daily, which will be super cool um, I'll just put in the extra work, which is totally fine because if you guys enjoy it um, That's you know, that's all it's about. You know what I mean? So uh, let me know how you guys feel and we'll just keep on grinding diff which we need to fix and this whole I think it might be might be the gears on the seat like the synchros oh yeah because it's like real like real like it's not a grind but it's like a it's like a like a moaning noise weird man don't you do it oh he did it so okay next day obviously um, and we're back working on the Z uh, this is like a little pigtail. I don't know why. There's definitely like some different injectors in here, I think. Or something's different because why would from the factory, why would they have... Now I'm just wondering, why don't I just re Why don't I just put this connect? So the sun is pretty gnarly. Why don't I just like wire this onto here instead of this whole deal that they got going on? I don't know what the whole point of these are, you know, but check this out. Here's the wire that's broken. I don't even know how I came across this, man. It's crazy. You guys see that? How did I find this? Alright, so whoever did this wiring job, you're just an absolute noob. They soldered it. They like they soldered this whole bit of wire. And then they didn't even crimp it. Alright, so we're all connected. Let's 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 give her a shot. Sounds great! Dude! I think we got it! Sorry, it's it's warm out today. Bro! This, yes! Yes, I'm gonna fill it with coolant, with water. Dude, I'm stoked. I'm so stoked right now. I thought there was something wrong with the timing. I don't know how it could have been like that or how it even would be a problem, but I mean, it sounds way better. It sounds good, bro. 
So I'm uh, kind of really, really annoyed. So I just lost this really exciting clip. Um, I thought my car like literally blew up. Uh, so there was a bunch of smoke coming out and I was like, what is all this smoke? Like, where is this coming from? And then I realized it was like steam. And I saw way down in here, probably not even gonna be able to show you guys. Of course not, because the lighting is so nuts right now. All right, there we go. Now, now we can kind of see it. So I'll show you guys my hand right there. Ah, that's hot. Wow, that's really hot. This is really hot. This is all like this is like my AC line Like this is a high-pressure AC line and all the steam was coming out of this like little cap right here And I had it on camera I was filming and of course my battery died So like it didn't see it didn't save the clip which I was I was pissed because I literally was I was like running over there I was terrified the big it, like it was it was like steaming and then all of a sudden it went really loud like really loud and then it just popped, like it like blew up and then it stopped. And what I'm gonna first gonna do is see if I can go ahead and push this plate back in so it doesn't make that grinding noise. And then I'm gonna start it again and see if, um, I guess see if it's, if it's still gonna do that. That was terrifying. <laughs> oh wait, I know why, hang on. Dude, it's way more like responsive and peppy too, man. Oh my god. What is happening, bro? Holy hell. Is that my AC? That's my AC. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. She might blow. The AC might blow. There's, there's definitely, there's definitely something going on here. Um, uh, right. Okay, well, I think we lost all of our AC there, boys. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire it up again and just let it run. Um, you know? fan is all over the place all right so it's been I don't know like 10 15 minutes all's good no no more explosions <laughs> so that's that's good however the idol is back up to like remember how I was saying it used to chill around like a thousand eleven hundred is back at like eleven hundred right now so I don't know if there's another vacuum leak somewhere if I just need to adjust the idle or something because uh, it's obviously warm you know it's not like it's cold so it's not should be on a cold start but uh, yeah it's all good it smells kind of bad we have an exhaust leak so, um, probably gonna go ahead and either chop out the cats, because I think that's one of our issues, is where the cats are, or we'll figure that out. But as far as this goes, guys, I'm pretty stoked. I'm happy that we figured it out. Um, I'm happy that we figured out the misfiring issue, and I'm happy that the timing is all good, and I'm happy that everything is mint and no more leaks. So, um, right on, man. Can't complain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Uh, next video you guys are gonna go ahead and see Probably is going to be related, obviously, with either one of these two, one of these two girls out here. Uh, going to probably go ahead and keep messing with the Z. Uh, maybe swap some wheels over in the next video. Put some mess with the camber and alignment. Put some parts on the Z and stuff like that. So if you guys care to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, if you guys have not yet done so already, man, it would be super, super cool. If you guys missed the Kooky update video, which was the video before this one go ahead and check it out and we're also going to be going ahead to check out the cookie again in the next couple days because the progress that has been made has been awesome so uh, uh you guys don't want to miss out so especially when we come comes time to fire it up it's gonna be a beast i'll see you guys soon 
have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later. Peace.